My name is Glenn Beeman. I'm the uh, platform manager here at the uh, DNA Resource Corps, and I help to manage the uh, plasmid library. Our lab is trying to be a little bit more sustainable by uh, shipping out our plasmid constructs at room temperature, even to remote areas of the globe, uh, and we accomplish that by using Biometrica tubes. Uh, in addition, we also uh, manage our freezer library um, through an Excel spreadsheet so we know exactly where each of our plates is in the system, and then uh, have a routine maintenance on our freezers to make sure that they're operating at peak efficiency. So uh, Biometrica tubes are a proprietary technology uh, that allows us to keep some of our samples at room temperature without them degrading. Um, the ones that we use in our lab are called Clone Stable. Uh, that allows us to put uh, raw cultures directly into the tube and then dry down. Um, and then uh, when the recipient receives the product from us, they can directly elude DNA out of the, uh, out of the tubes. We also have the uh, sample guard system. Uh, we'll use that for more of our deep archival purposes. Um, still our working stocks are stored as uh, glycerol stocks, uh, but we can keep a backup copy at room temperature in a, a dehumidified environment uh, without having to refrigerate or freeze. Um, so I'd like to introduce you to Gordy. This is one of our minus 80 freezers, uh, one of the workhorses for our core facility. Um, one of the ways that we help to reduce their energy uh, demand is uh, to maintain them properly. Um, so we're going to show you shortly how to scrape down the gaskets of the freezer and how to clear the check valve uh, to make sure that all of the air is equalized. So we perform monthly uh, maintenance on each of our freezers. Um, one person is assigned to scrape down the seals of the uh, freezer unit um, and then records it here so we can make sure that all of our freezers have gotten their seals uh, scraped down at least once a month. Um, and we'll also check the, uh, the uh, air valve on the back to make sure that uh, it hasn't frosted over and that we can open the door easily. Uh, and another major way that we um, get access to these freezers in a, uh, a sustainable way is to accurately track where all of our materials are so that we can quickly go into the freezer, get what we need, and close the door right back up. We also have a, uh, a series of uh, Excel spreadsheets that have been put together into separate pages. Um, within those spreadsheets, we track each barcode for uh, all of our plates, uh, and we have a macro that allows us to search through for the plates that we need, spits out where those uh, are located in our freezers, and uh, we can print out a sheet so we know exactly which freezer to go to, which shelf it's in, which rack it's in. So for us, it's important to uh, focus on the energy use of our freezers because we know that each freezer uses approximately the same electrical uh, consumption as a full house on an uh, annual basis. Um, so we want to make sure that our footprint is as small as possible. Uh, we obviously have quite a few freezers, 10 different freezers in our farm. Um, so we want to make sure to squeak out every last bit of efficiency uh, so that we're not uh, causing undue burden.